Hey, it's me again. I'm going to uh, do the line for a, like a saxophone solely. I'm going to use kind of that same set of chord changes as I did for that uh, brass thing. And I'm going to write for the saxophones. A couple things on, on saxophone solis. Um, you, know, you can't, if it's an alto playing the lead, you don't want to write much higher than that note. Now, this is all in concert, by the way. I write in concert. That's just the way. I'm, I'm not smart enough to do anything else. <laughs> So not higher than this, and usually you want to kind of top out. This is the high notes, high note for the alto. This is kind of a better note. This is his D. It's up a major six, and that's you know you're getting into the palm keys and stuff like that. So you don't really need to go much higher. So I mean this is very comfortable range right here. This is if you kind of need it or whatever. And then the lower part, uh, you know, they can go very low. I don't write too much lower than. Um, you know, like this, which is his G, because it's hard to put stuff underneath it. I mean, if you're doing a unison or something like that, <clears throat> then it's okay. But um, I don't really write much lower than that. Most of the time, I kind of write in the staff, you know, maybe just a little bit lower, just so that's my kind of comfortable range um, to, for saxophone. So, I mean, you're, you're going to see kind of, uh, you know, from here, concert-wise, you know, maybe down to there, uh, which is, you know, kind of what I, kind of what I do. So that range is important. It's extremely important because on all, all instruments, because it, it, they perform better in the ranges that are most comfortable. Well, duh. So anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and come up with a line. So I have to. We're in the key of F. So this is this a blues in F, F, B flat, uh, F. You know, blah blah blah. It's the blues, and uh, so I got to get. I'm gonna play in my soprano again, my, my trusty soprano, and uh, come up with a, with a line. Now, saxophones, you can kind of write anything. Now, this uh, the original blues I think I did was like one, two, one, two, the, you know, when, when I did that, uh, that first shout chorus line, the blues de jour. So this will be part of that. So anyway, saxophones can play a lot of different things. They're used to playing, you know, all saxophone players have like uh, gone through Charlie Parker solos and Coltrane solos and and solo solos and whomever. So they've they've got you know they've got a lot of chops and range is not an issue either because you can play, you know, you can play you know to the top and bottom of the horn. It's not that's really not much of an issue. So you can play sixteenth notes and triplets. So it's kind of whatever you want to come up with. So you just sit down and you you know come up with the whatever you want to come up with. I'm going to get myself in the key of my F here. F kind of blues. So that's kind of my tonality. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I got 16th notes and triplets, and you know, so you can kind of channel Charlie Parker or um, I mean, whomever you like, Lockjaw Davis, what any saxophone player who you who you like. So I'm I'll show you the kind of things I kind of come up with. So uh, well, let's see. <laughs> So I started on two wrist. Oops. I think I did uh, this line here. It's uh, not a triplet, but uh, by the way, there's a difference between triplets and uh, this figure here. It's kind of like a turn almost. Um, let me see what I came up with. Actually, I, I did this here. Again, a lot of this I, I played on soprano and just stuff comes, comes flying out. I think all the good notes that I play or that I know are on this instrument. Riff. So let me see. Uh. You know, this funny thing about uh, about writing or being somewhat creative, I mean, there's people who practice licks, uh, and um, I played a gig last night, and there was a, a 
a gentleman who really worked hard on his licks, and so when he was playing solos, he was playing his licks. The, the really interesting thing about the, 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 the guys like Louis Armstrong or, or got, you know, people who were just you know, uh, incredible soloists, uh, Pete Chrislip is another one that always comes to mind, that he plays something that he's never played before. And how do you practice that? How do you practice things that you've never played before? I think I have a little bit of that in me. It's, it's, uh, you can brag about it, but on the other hand, it gets you in a lot of trouble, too. So, okay. I think I did some kind of a little turn here. It's like you're going down to the, the flat nine of, of F7. So these are all kinds of funny notes. I mean, if you're trying to figure out what you, you can... You, oh, I've got to put a natural here, by the way, because that's a sharp there. Um, you know, if you try and analyze the notes, uh, there, it's more about melodies. Uh, Everyone's going to do something cute like hitting that F sharp, which you, you call attention to it, the flat nine. Uh, so we got... So I'm in the key of F. So... That's kind of neat. Let's see if I do it right. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. So what would I play after that? Uh, Of course, here's a little theme I could use. Let me see if I'm going to borrow from that again. Yeah, I'm going to borrow that again over here. If you can borrow, if you can use themes, I mean, themes are really good. I mean, it, you know, I think that's something they put on your tombstone when you die. Hey, he, he used a lot of themes. He's, he was very thematic, you know. I mean, that's good for some things, and then, uh, you know, if you've got kind of a, a, a crazy, wacky mind sometimes, uh, you, you, can, you can use single items, like all this stuff, and, but still make it sound, make it work. It's kind of like poetry, I think, in a lot of ways. Um, where uh, you know you're you're really creating more of a rhythm rhythmic um, thing, and now that that's the basic rhythm, and then and then I'm going to finish this theme out here. So let me let me move this over. So we're in the B flat. Uh, oh, da, 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 I'm going to do a, um, uh, a triplet.